Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I'm a vegan living in London, originally from the US and Japan. And today I'm filming a special video for Pi Day. Yes. I don't know if this is like universal knowledge, but um, growing up in the States, people always made a point about celebrating Pi Day, which is March 14th because it's 3.14. It's also my boyfriend's birthday, so everybody wish Joseph a happy birthday. Yeah, I thought it would be fun to um, film a day of me eating pie for 24 hours. I am not like a math person at all, so this is kind of out of character for me to celebrate a day around numbers and math and stuff. Um, but nevertheless, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right into breakfast. Okay, so we are starting off this morning with a Cornish pasty, a vegan Cornish pasty. I've never had a Cornish pasty, vegan or otherwise. Sorry, my voice is like, I just woke up, but um, it's because I just woke up. But um, yeah, I've never had a Cornish pasty, vegan or otherwise. Um, but this one is like a collaboration, I think, between a company called Ginsters and Corn. Corn makes like faux meat products, and Ginsters, I think, makes like pastries, like ready to eat pastries, and probably other products. Um, so, this is marinated corn pieces with potato, onion, and suede, distinctly seasoned with pepper, wrapped in a light puff pastry, shaped by Cornwall. Um, I think this company is also based in Cornwall, so it should be authentic. And. I'm gonna look up what Swede is because I don't know what that means. Oh, it's a type of plant. It's a root vegetable. Mm, I'll put a picture in the video so you guys can take a look. I don't know how it's pronounced, but very interesting. Okay. So first I'm gonna cut this. It looks really good on the inside. I don't really know how you're supposed to eat this. Like, if you're supposed to put condiments and stuff on, but I brought some barbecue sauce hot sauce and hummus just in case, but I'll try it plain first. Whoa. It has a very like steak dinner flavor. I think it's like the brown sauce that they put inside. But yeah, the potato is quite nice. I like it. I'm gonna add some hot sauce. This is the Yellow Bird Serrano hot sauce. This does really have like a steak flavor. I don't know where it's coming from. I think it's like the mixture of onions maybe because like I, I associate onions with like beef, I guess. I'm not really sure. Man, yeah, it's hard to know if this is like, this compares to real Cornish pasty because I never had it, but for what this is, like on its own without comparing it with anything, it's good. It's quite heavy though for breakfast. Like, I don't know if I'll eat this for breakfast again, but I would eat it for dinner or lunch. Mm. It's actually quite nice with um, barbecue sauce. Also, I just realized I don't know if pasties count as pie, but I'm just gonna say that anything that is made with puff pastry or is a pastry counts as pie for today because it's just, it's not like a traditional shape of a pie, but to me it's a pie because there's a puff pastry around it. Overall, that was a pleasant first cornice pasty experience. Again. Not my first choice for breakfast, but it's pretty good and taste-wise and texture-wise. Yeah, I have a few other fun menu items coming up for lunch and dinner, so stay tuned. Okay, hey guys, so I'm back for lunch, a little bit more alive um, because it's now 12.30. For lunch, I'm having this mushroom pie from Fry's. I've had Fry's products before and I really like them, so I have high hopes for this. This is a vegan, what is it called? 
The packaging is kind of funny. It says, I am a pie, not an ordinary pie, but a mouth-watering, delicious, amazingly scrumptious pie. My pastry is light and my filling warm, hearty, and satisfying. Most importantly, I do not contain any animal products whatsoever, and that makes me vegan. I think I'm what you call a conscious pie. So, it's a conscious pie. And this one has mushrooms, soy, bunch of seasonings. Yeah, so it seems like it's mostly mushroom. I had to bake it for like 25 minutes. Oh god, how do I get this out? It's like stuck in the, in the, oh no. How to, oh no. I don't know how to eat this. Oh my goodness. It's a disaster. How do you get this out of the packaging? Should I get scissors? The top, the top is like completely coming off. Is that supposed to happen? The top completely came off. And now it's the, I wonder if that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. I really don't know if I'm doing this right, but okay, I'm just gonna eat it like a soup. Oh. Hot. It's very hot, but it's good. Very, very mushroomy, as you would expect. Okay, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna put some of the soup on the, what do you call this? The roof, the ceiling. <laughs> oh my God, that pie is amazing. The puff, the puff pastry. Wow, this, pie is so much nicer than the Cornish pasty pie, like it's so much flakier and lighter and I don't know, it's so much nicer but you know me, I'm gonna put some hot sauce on because it's salty but there's not, I mean it's well seasoned, like you can, t you can taste like the, I don't know what to call it, like the thyme and rosemary and those kinds of seasonings, I think it's in here, never mind, it says it just has onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and spice extract. So maybe the spice extract is the flavoring that I'm tasting, but... The flakes are like getting all over me. I'm like covered in pie. Oh god. I guess it's like not really soup, it's more like gravy, I guess, in a pie. It's very interesting. I like it a lot. I really enjoy this concept. The inside pastry is like way softer and dense, I would say, like it's way thicker. But then the roof pastry is nice and crispy and, you know, light. Wow, this is a winner. I'm so happy I did this video because I would have never knew that this existed without doing this. And I'm really sorry if I'm eating this completely wrong. I have no idea how to eat this, so. Before coming to the UK, I thought I knew UK food. Like I thought I knew all about like British food and like, you know, bangers and mash, London roast, Scottish egg. Is that what it's called, Scottish egg? Yeah. And I don't know, like haggis and stuff like that. Like I thought I knew at least the basics of UK food, but then coming here I've realized I really don't know much. Like there's so many things I don't know about, like this pie. I had no idea that pies like this existed. It makes me wonder like, is there anything in the States that, you know, people go to the States and they're like, wow, I had no idea this existed. But I feel like there isn't, like American food is like what you see, like hot dogs, hamburgers. I don't know. Maybe you discover like wings. But wings exist elsewhere too. I feel like there's nothing that America has that like nobody knows about, you know? I don't, I don't know. I just think it's interesting to think about. I also made a side salad because, I don't know, breakfast was like the pastry, then this is like I have this pie, so I feel like I should eat vegetables, so I'm also gonna have this. Is this cheating? I feel like a lot of these YouTube videos that are like, I ate this for 24 hours, like, they're so strict about eating only that for 24 hours, at least on camera, who knows what they do off camera, but 
yeah, maybe this isn't allowed in like the challenge world, but. Well, that was delicious. I finished both the salad and the pie and I'm feeling very satisfied. So yeah, we'll see what we have for dinner. See you then. All right, so for dinner, I decided to make this little pizza pie thing. So I started by cutting some white mushrooms and then I put them into a big bowl and then got out some green bell pepper, cut that up into small slices. And then I did the same with some zucchini. It's about half of a zucchini. And the bell pepper was also about half. And then I got about like a quarter of a red onion, sliced that up. One small tomato that I had left over. And then I seasoned it with pepper and some salt and cumin. And then I mixed it all around for a while until it was all coated. This is Linda McCartney brand sausage. I've got some flour and put it on the cutting board to keep um, the dough from sticking. Then I got the puff pastry. This is from Sainsbury's and I had so much trouble trying to figure out how to roll this out. I got one sl small slice there as you can see, but the rest I couldn't figure it out. So I, I just rolled it out um, like a normal dough. I think this is actually how you're supposed to do it, but I'm not really sure. And yeah, once it was nice and laid out, then I scored it with a knife around the edges to create kind of like a crust. And then I put some hummus. This is also from Sainsbury's. And then after that, I got some pate, some mushroom pate. This is vegan pate that I found the other day. And then I put the veggies on on top, just laid them out. Not super flat, just, you know, as they fit on the pastry. I got some shredded cheese from Marks and Spencer Plant Kitchen range. And I also got some of the feta from uh, Marks and Spencer as well. This is the finished product before it goes into the oven. And then about 20 minutes in the oven later, this is what it turned out to be like. And yeah, pretty good. Okay, so here's my personal pizza pie. I decided to take the smaller one and give Joseph the bigger one that I rolled out. And yeah, I had some leftover veggies, so I just roasted them on the side. But, okay, let's give it a try. I've never had a puff pastry pizza. Does this count as pie? Mm. To me, it looks like a tart. A pie oh. should be covered, you see what I mean? But I feel like tart is pie. It's like a, a is it? form of pie. Well, you said tart in English too, right? So I'm using the word pie loosely. Okay. okay. Cheers. You're so intense behind the camera. <laughs> Babe, you don't need to move that much. It makes it more dynamic. The cheese is better this time. Like, I feel like last time we had this cheese, it was not that good. The Marks and Spencer shreds. Oh, uh, which one did you use this time? The shreds and the feta. I used both. But it tastes better this time, I don't know why. It's good. It's a lot lighter than a normal pizza. I give this 7 out of 10. Maybe. What? That's all? I don't know, you can try and tell me what you think. I mean, but... I'm probably gonna give that a 10 out of 10. <laughs> it looks delicious. Look at that. Oh, by the way, when I was eating my lunch, I know, like, I was, like, so confused and, like, I had never eaten that kind of pie before, but I realized later when I was looking up recipes for puff pastry that that was a pot pie, like a mushroom pot pie. And chicken pot pie is, like, really common in the States, so now I'm kind of embarrassed because I was like, oh my god, this is so novel, I never had anything like this, but it's, like, literally so common, so, yeah, just wanted oh, well. to say that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but now we're gonna enjoy our dinner with some Parks and Rec, so yeah, I will catch you guys in a bit. Thank you, Anna, for making food tonight. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, so I'm gonna finish off the night with some Mr. Kipling's um, tarts. Again, I guess they're not really pies. I think yeah, I've kind of realized that my definition of pie might be different from everyone else's, so I'm sorry if you're disappointed by the pies that I've selected today. But these come in three different flavors. 
black currant and apple, raspberry and apricot. I think I'll have a bite of each and give you guys a taste test. Mm. They smell quite good. All right, I will go for, I think this is the black currant. Let's see. Ooh. It's very soft. It has a very strong black currant flavor. Not bad. It doesn't taste too, I mean, it tastes a little bit artificial, but not too much. I wanna see if these are real. So it's, it seems like they use mostly real fruit. So that's good with added sugar, but all right. This is the raspberry. I think I like that one more. It has a bit more of like a subtle flavor. The black currant one is like almost overpowering. It's so overpowering that it tastes like a tiny bit artificial. The raspberry one tastes more natural, I would say. All right, and last but not least, the apricot. I think I'm most excited for the apricot one because I like apricot flavored things. So let's see. Yeah. This one is the best. It's like, it's the most tart. <laughs> tart. Uh -huh. no, no pun intended. But yeah, it has the most like acidity. I think it's like the most well balanced of the three. Apricot wins. I think I will finish off this one. Maybe Joseph can try the other two. So yeah, that was my day of eating pies, or at least my version of pies. Um, so happy pie day to all of you guys. I don't know if non-Americans, I feel like it's a very American holiday, so let me know if you celebrate pie day wherever you're from. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some meal ideas or inspiration. Let me know if you have any suggestions for what videos I should do next. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.